What's up, guys? Sorry, I'm 60 seconds late. I apologize. My dog wanted to go out just as I was about to go live. Hope all you guys are excited to see me open two boxes and get two identical boxes. Six books, uh, just three different ones. That's all it's going to be in here. But I did want to go over some eBay finds today, too, which I don't even know where I put them. Oh, there they are. So, there, you know, there's a few things to talk about tonight, a few things. But hopefully you guys are uh, having a good time in there. Let me see, who do we have already in here? Super early was Jack Attack Comics. Isaac Maynard, thank you so much. Tyler Glass, Johnny Dakota, Nemesis Prime from Three Men in a Basement, who is only here to see the DC Comics. Well, that's all you're going to see today until I open, until I show you some eBay stuff. Uh, hopefully some good prize in the mystery box. Yeah. Somebody actually hit me up on, um, didn't hit me up, but left a post on my Instagram post saying that they found, uh, they hit like the Batman, was it Batman 20 super low grade, like a three Oh, but you're talking golden age. I think it was a Batman 20 or a 30 Evans comic and pop culture. How you doing? Johnny Dakota underground thundercat, Benjamin cross, Isaac, Randy Sloan. I think we'll have a wonderful show. I hope. I hope, man. I hope we hit. I hope we had two grand prizes. Uh, man from Beantown making lobsters. Were you making lobsters today? I think I saw that post. I think it was lobsters. Uh, thank you, Benjamin Cross. We'll see what's in here. We're gonna give people some time to get in. I'll probably start the unboxing at like the eight ten minute mark, and we'll probably be done by the fifteen minute mark. If you guys are watching here on the replay, uh, yeah, sixty nine ch cop chop shop. Please hit that like button. Uh, Justin, Isaac, again, Benjamin, thank you so much. I have to jump all the way back. There's too many, too many comments. I'm too many far, too far behind. Uh, what's going on from Florida? Dr. Poppenstein, excited to see if Torpedo can deliver for you for once. They did. They did a good job. My first unboxing, not the very, very first one, but I ordered two of the Mystery Box 2.0s. They came separate. Like one got stuck in North Carolina. So the very first box was like, eh. But the second box I hit on the, uh, what was it? First, um, <laughs> which coincidentally can, can be in here. Brainiac. Uh, they're, they're doing another Brainiac giveaway. I'm, I'm, I do have GPA wobbles. Uh, man from Beantown. Yeah. Fresh caught lobsters. So, uh, if you guys don't know, this is the Wonder Woman box from Torpedo. They made, I think they did, they do 600 of these. I'm not sure if they did 600, but all it really is, to be honest with you, is the Jim Lee connecting covers variant, which is actually this, I believe this is one of them. And then here she is again. And then, you know, basically this box is made up of the three covers that are going to be in here. Each box comes with, it's a Wonder Woman 750, three of them connecting covers, all Jim Lee exclusive to Midtown Comics. The reason you're buying this box is not necessarily for the, I don't think you're buying them for the variants. You could just buy the variants on their own. Uh, you're taking a stab at the grand prizes. And to be honest with you, they put a lot in this one. And I think they did that because it wasn't selling. I think they had like six prizes and they bumped, like they added like crazy, like 10 or 15 books just to like move these things. All DC. There's nothing, no Marvel. Um, and like this, like first death strokes in here, 9.8 dual signed or something. There's like a lot of good stuff. That first cheetah is a nice book. There is some Batman stuff in here. Hopefully we find something. Hopefully. Oh, it was, let me see. Trying to catch up. Matt Forge. What is going on? Oh yeah. Evan. Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw that video from yesterday. Uh, I'm really sorry about the collection you went to look at the other day. It wasn't that great, but I like posting every every collection I go to look at. I like posting. And the fact that I was even able to get out there and I was able to meet up with Aaron and do this was a big deal because I've been home. You know, we've all been home for like two months. Like I was itching to get out. Even if it was a bust, at least it was good to get out. We were safe. We had our masks on and everything. We were separated. And uh, it, it just happened to be a bust. What are you going to do? Um, Bat fan. Again, we're going to get into this in like another few more minutes. What do you think of PGX grading? Is CGC the only company you use for grading? Yeah, I only use exclusive. I exclusively use CGC because their books graded 
uh, bring back a higher value than any of the others, even CBCS. So why wouldn't you submit to CGC? I don't know. That's why. I may have some CGC news actually coming up shortly. Not tonight, but in the near future, I may have some news about CGC, which is good stuff. Great stuff for you guys. Great stuff for you guys. Um, yeah, so I, you know, I'm going to, let me see, where are you here? BX Boxer. Uh, luckily, you're finding collections. This was Aaron. I got to give all the credit to AA Comics. He was the one who found this collection. It was a little pricey and he wanted to split it. I said, no problem. We'll go take a look because we did it the first time and it, it was great. I thought it was a lot of fun. And uh, it was a bust. Spoiler alert if you didn't watch. It was a quick five minute video, so it's definitely worth a watch. Peter Laduca, I do participate. Uh, I think they're fine. They're good. You just have to find the right people that you trust. Thank you, Troy. A lot of people didn't buy this one, and I think that's why they added a lot of um, – I think that's why they added a lot of grand prizes. I have not opened it yet, Knight of Ren. Uh, have you ever – hold on, Isaac. Isaac, have you ever had a horrible experience meeting one of your favorite – I guess basically anything. No, I've been very lucky. You do hear nightmare stories about like your heroes being like pieces of garbage, but I just read what you could potentially find in thirst boxes. Those boxes. Wow. Good luck. Yeah. No, the, the, there's, there's a lot of good stuff in, in the grand prizes. They're good stuff. Uh, done with Instagram live videos. No, actually I did want to talk about this too. So I have, um, I don't know if you guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've been taking want lists. I just, I just today and, uh, posted that I'm taking want lists again for people looking for stuff that, um, I can help them out when the want lists are all done. And I'll, if you guys are watching, I'll get back to you like tomorrow. Tonight was a little bit rough. And then there's this, uh, when those want lists are all set up and they're, st they stop trickling in, I'm actually going to be doing another YouTube auction. You just got to give me time to figure out, to help everyone out on Instagram that have their want list. I'm going to take care of them. After the auction on YouTube, I'm going to follow that up with another live Instagram claim sale, live sale. Uh, for all you guys who've done it with me before, you know, it's the whole hundred books, the first 50 or $10 a piece, the second 50 or $20 a piece. And it's basically a claim sale. Uh, I call it a live sale. You know how it works if you've been in it. It's a lot of fun, but uh, it's it's in the pecking order. So again, I'm doing my want list on Instagram right now. Then we're going to switch over to YouTube, do an auction. When that's all done, we're going to switch back to Instagram and do a claim sale. This, uh, Yeah, like a live sale. And we're talking about, this is probably like a th three to four week time span I'm talking about here because usually these want lists take about two weeks to fill, get, the, get paid, fill them, package them up, mail them out, Make sure they have their stuff, and then I usually move on to the next thing. So it's going to be time, but yes, 100% going to be doing another live sale on Instagram. That's home, man. Instagram is home. That's where it all started. Uh, I saw a good question here. Uh, Brian, Do you did you end up getting a superior box the other night? No. First of all, I couldn't stay up till midnight. And second of all, I read on the website that it, they were going on on sale at 12 a.m. Pacific time, which is 3 a.m. my time. Maybe they screwed that up on the website and it really was going on on sale at midnight Eastern time. But I was not staying up till 3 a.m. And I was like, you know what? It was like 1130. My eyes were closing. It was a long day. And I was like, I'm just going to sleep. Coincidentally, I had woken up at 3.30 a.m. just because. And I'm like, you know what? I rolled over, checked my phone. They were already sold out. So next time, I just hope I get I hope I get notified. You guys are really, really, really good about like letting me know when things are going on sale. So I'll probably grab one next time. I don't like that it takes so long to ship, even those. But I'm just impatient. Oh, and uh, by the way, before we're going to get into this like right now, we're going to hit the 10-minute mark. But um. Oh, BX Boxer, we have another video we already recorded, and it's probably going to come out sometime next week. We did, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but we did just do another video together. So the 4,000 giveaway video, I took a lot of, there was a phenomenal requests, uh, what 
good constructive criticism, which I don't mind if it's mean or nice, I don't care, but just something that can help the channel. One thing that somebody said and has brought up multiple, multiple, multiple times is that my microphone was on the table and you could hear like every tap. Well, look at me. I'm like, uh, I'm like a real YouTuber now. What's up everybody. So I've got the little armature thing here and, uh, hopefully you guys aren't hearing the tap. And uh, that's that. So somebody said that on the 4,000 giveaway and I followed up and I think it's good. It's working well. It's out of the picture. It's out of the way. And hopefully it still sounds uh, really good. So we are at the 10 minute mark. We're going to start cracking these open and I'm going to go over them one more time. All that's going to be in here are three books. Wonder Woman 750. These are Jim Lee torpedo comic exclusive variants. It's a connecting cover. So this is going to be one cover right here. Uh, here's another cover right here. Uh, you know, all three, there you go. They're going to connect. What we're hoping for is to hit one of the grand prizes. And it's this mystery box has more grand prizes, I think than any of their other ones. So bring in closer for sound better. How's that everybody? Does that work? I can do that. Um, so let's crack this first one open. Uh, one thing too, I noticed with these, Justin, I don't know if you ordered these or if you noticed, but See, it was really good closer up. All right, really close. Uh, these boxes, unlike the other ones, don't have numbers on them. Sounds weird. I don't know why, but the previous boxes all had like a little sticker with a number. I would imagine one through 600. These don't. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I just don't have numbers on them. I don't know if anyone else has noticed whether theirs has or has not, but... I thought that's interesting. Here are the books. They're all bubble wrapped up. Let's go. Let's crack this first one open. I ordered two of them because I always like ordering two of these mystery, all the mystery boxes. I like ordering two. I think one unboxing goes a little too quick and two gives you a little bit of odds. So there we go. So you guys are going to get the first view. And again, I don't have numbers on these. I'd like to tell you this is box number, blah, 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 but this is box number Wonder Woman. All right, here you go. You guys see first. Oh, shit. There's a picture there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It is, congrats, you won this book. A girl dressed like Wonder Woman. It is Forever People number one in a 9.6. That's awesome. So we hit. That's huge. Now, That's great. Somebody actually asked me if I had that book, but I don't. For sale. I don't have it for sale. I think I sold one. So that's awesome. That's great. And my daughter's going to like these boxes. She does like Wonder Woman. So we already know what's in here. That is huge, man. I'm super stoked for that. That might stay in the personal collection. I'll be honest with you guys. That one might stay in the personal collection. First appearance of Dark Side for you guys that aren't, are, you know, forever people know. It's one of the first appearances of Dark Side. Um, they wrap the books really well. They usually do. Can I, can I hit the garbage can? No. So if you guys don't know, we'll show you the covers. I liked my odds. I'll tell you, I liked my odds with these boxes because once they added all those extra prizes, which by the way, I believe this was one of them. This was one of the bonus. Uh, I think this was one of the, I should have had the website up. See? Should have had the website up. Shame on me. But I think that was one of the extra added ones. And again, I think it was 15 total. So, boy, they really taped these closed. You know why? The box is just a little big for the books. So I think they bubble wrapped them really nice so they don't get dinged up. These boxes were $75 a piece. Basically, you're buying the, the, the variants at $25 a piece. We don't need to open up the next box like, like this, but I just want to show you the books. Oh, could you imagine we hit again? Woo, people will be really, really uh, saying it's rigged, huh? All right. Oh, this is how I ship. I put the, I, this is exactly how I do it. I put the uh, boards on both sides and tape it. I wonder where they got that idea. Nah, just kidding. They've probably been doing this for a while. I've never gotten raw books from uh, Torpedo. But I will say they didn't do this on their other mystery boxes. 
So no numbers on the boxes. All right, so here we go. Three connecting covers. And I'm guys, these are all going to go to CGC because I'm going to – it's a square-bound book. So here's one of them. And the reason I'm going to get uh, – I'm going to pre-screen these 9.8 to uh, CGC and hopefully get 9.8s across the board on these. So it's a big square-bound – can you kind of tell? Square-bound book. A nice cover, card stock, not like a typical comic book cover. So these should probably – Probably come back nine eight. I'll pre-screen all of them. Here's the other one. Oops, oops. There we go. So, and uh, here's the third. Ooh, I'm kind of excited to, to open that other one. <laughs> I almost hope I don't hit. Then, then all the conspiracy theory people will really be coming out. I'll save those because I'll actually use those to do the same thing. So, can we connect these real quick and hold them up? It's going to be a little tricky. Um. They go this way, right? Yeah. All right. Let me see if I hold these up so you can see, and then we'll open up the second one. Yeah. You can kind of see them, right? Three beautiful covers. Jim Lee, one of my favorite artists, which by the way, can I zoom in? Yeah, we can. Hold on. Hold on. Here's one. There you go. Classic Jim Lee. I do love his stuff. I do. Is it cliche to say I like Jim Lee's work? There's the other one. Again, these were $75 a piece. So you basically paid for the three variants. And again, these are all going to go to CGC. I'm going to pre-screen these 9.8. <laughs> yeah, not 9.8s not now. So we'll see. Uh, let's pop that second one open. Oh, man. If, if we hit again, forget it. Forget it. And the box, again, I know I showed you, but the box does match the covers. Really nice box. Really nice box. And I'm starting to think that's why they delayed that um, a couple a couple boxes before. They, they got delayed, and they threw a couple extra grand prizes in. And I'm thinking it's the boxes took a little while to get. So here we go. I'm going to let you uh, see before me. And, and <laughs> I know. I hope there's – I if there's a picture there, I'm screwed. No. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, and I'm not even going to open these. We know what they are. They're the three uh, same books, the same three books. So that's that. We did we did well. First appearance of Dark Side and a 9.6. This will look really nice next to my uh, the other one, Jimmy Olsen 130. Is it 134? Which is the other first appearance of Dark Side. I think that one's worth a little bit more, but this is still great. I'm going to shoot them. Congrats, you won this book, email, blah, blah, blah. And uh, good. Awesome. Now, there's that. So what do we do? Do we talk about eBay next or we talk about upcoming videos next? Let's see. Let's see. No, no autograph in there. No Steve autograph in there. Wobbles, thank you very much. That was a $700 win. Big hit, big hit. You know what? It almost it almost makes up for all those crappy DA card, card world mystery boxes. I'll never do those again. Never, ever. Oh, first full third total. Thank you on the congratulations. I appreciate it. Fallen hero. Um, let me see. I'll tell you the, the torpedo boxes we're learning. We're all learning good, bad, indifferent on some of these, except torpedo. The thing I liked about the torpedo, bo or not torpedo, the DA card world boxes is you got a slab guaranteed. The thing I didn't like about the torpedo boxes were the slabs you got. So, eh. Um, all right. Let me you want to do eBay. We'll talk about eBay. So, all right. So I picked up, I got bored. So a lot of people have been buying a lot of stuff on eBay. A lot of people have been selling a lot of stuff. I've heard people have been getting good deals. I've, I've just, so I, you know what? I went, I went down the rabbit hole. I got bored. I had a couple extra bucks to play with and I'm like, let's see, let me go after some of my books that I want, something I'm looking for. Um, and I'll, t I'll show you the first one that I was looking for. I, I was looking for this. So I read, I read designs like my cabinets in my room and I have a whole ton of black and whites. If you haven't seen my um, room tour, you go back and watch it. I have a whole bunch of Batman black and white statues, like a whole bunch of them. 40 something, 50 something. And what I like to do is I like to put the villain with the first appearance. So like the, like the, the, uh, God scarecrow, right? The scarecrow black and white statue. I like to put him with his first silver age appearance. 
Catwoman with her first Silver Age appearance and so on and so forth. Batgirl with hers. And it looks nice. And I cleaned it up. I took all the raw books out. There's nothing in there but slabs and statues now. But one villain I didn't have that was like kind of a really affordable book was the first appearance of Bane in a 9.8. Because you know how I'm like a baby when it comes to moderns. I want 9.8s. So that was like one of my first eBay pickups. I'm like, you know what? Let me grab this. I, uh, it was, it's, I think it was like 240, 200. It's right around two, somewhere between like 235 and 255. That window for a 9.8 is about right on the fair side of things. Anything better is like really good. Anything higher than that is you paid too much. So I picked this up, uh, at a super fair. Oh, I have one other book over there, man. I forgot to grab that one. I'm not going to leave. Uh, that was that. That was my first first purchase. I also bought, and it's over there, and it's a shame because somebody actually knew who I was, and my eBay name has nothing is not like Very Gary Comics. It has nothing to do. I don't know how this dude knew who I was, but I picked up a giant size Defenders number three in a CBCS, I know, 9.0. And I got it at a fair price, especially because it was priced under CGC, which I'm going to crack it and send it off to CGC, but that's besides the point. Um, dude messaged me. He was like, hey, I love your content. I'm going to get this out as soon as possible. I'm like, oh my God. And he did. He got it out super fast, packed awesome, which is we're going to get into that in a minute too. Packaged great. The Bane was packaged really well as too. You know, nothing to be nervous about. And... Uh, I don't know how he knew who I was. I'm telling you, my eBay name is not, it is not my, you know, this. So that was the first pickup. And then I started getting real crazy and I started getting real silly. And I'm like, I, I usually, when I go on eBay, I don't bid. I just go buy it now or make offers. I'm like, let me play the bidding game. Let me, let me have some fun here. And I picked up one of my favorite books. Was it this one? Yeah, it was, it was one of these two. I don't want to show you. Oh, it was this one. It was the lower grade. I picked this up for like 55 bucks. And if you guys know me and know the book that I have been hunting and buying and hoarding and holding on to, it is Fantastic Four Annual Six. This is the first appearance of Annihilus and Franklin Richard, my favorite book at the moment. Super affordable, major key. You're talking about first Annihilus and first Franklin Richards. People sleep on Franklin Richards, sleep on him. It's always about Annihilus, but watch what happens. Um, so this book cost me in this condition, which is low grade. It's probably like a 3.0. Probably like a 3.0. If I get really, really lucky, maybe a 3.5. But a 3.0. Uh, cost me like 55 bucks or something like that. I'm like, that's kind of a no-brainer. Maybe it came to like 65 total with shipping. Now, with shipping, we're going to get into this. This super low grade $55 book was shipped in... This box, which was fantastic, it fit perfect. I don't want to show you any of the, the guy's address or whatever. Um, bubble wrapped, right? It was, you know, it wasn't on top like that. It was in the bubble wrap. Really, it was it was perfect. It was the perfect box to ship. If you're not going to ship in a Gemini box, this is great. Happy. Again, $50 freaking book. Ships like this. Excellent. Phenomenal. So I bought that. I also have another one coming and it's stuck somewhere in the mail. It'll be here in like, I don't know, three or four months or so. Uh, now, here's another one I bought. I bought this for like, I think $150. I bought another one. This is more like mid-grade, probably like a 5.0. Again, not too crazy. But for the right price, I felt comfortable. I think it was maybe $100. I think it was like $100 to $120. So I felt comfortable spending that much. These are all going to go to CGC, by the way. All right. Again, first Annihilus, first Franklin Richards. Now, this book was shipped to me with no bag, no board in this envelope. Just like this. Just like you see, no bag, no board. And if you guys are on my Instagram, you saw uh, me post a picture of it. And it was terrible, terrible, absolutely unacceptable. And I've never left negative feedback in my life. I've been very lucky. And I also, I should have, and I didn't, I left them neutral feedback, but I wrote in because lucky enough, this wasn't like folded in my, in my, in my, uh, mailbox, but, uh, that's unacceptable. That's not, that's, 
That's not good. And I spent more. It was a higher grade book and I spent more and that's the shipping. And then the guy with the $50 book that's kind of beat up takes care of it. So uh, let me get back to you guys too. What's up, Discovery Bay? You guys should be subscribed. Blech. You guys should be subscribed to this dude too. He does a lot of fun stuff on his channel. He goes live a lot, gives books away, sells books. He's super busy. He does a lot on there. So you might want to sub up to this guy. And somebody else you guys may want to look at is here. The Butcher 105, he's got a great channel too. He's just starting out, just hit 100 subs. Congratulations on that. And uh, yeah, I should order yours. God knows I've been ordering enough of these damn things. Um, Matt cites the Wonder Woman boxes were not a bust. We hit Forever People number one in a 9.6. First full dark side. So really happy about that. I want a bad girl first appearance expensive. Yeah, that's a that's kind of an expensive book. Torpedo or or hero mystery boxes, which was better for you? For me, I've done better in torpedo, but let's pretend you don't let's pretend for a second you don't hit the grand prize on either. Okay. Honestly, those and it, how should I wear this? It I think it comes down to what you want. If you want random minor keys, you should probably go with the hero box. If you want exclusive variants, you should go with Torpedo. Torpedo is going to give you a better opportunity at higher. I don't know about a better opportunity, but Torpedo is going to give you a bigger win when you hit. A much bigger win. Like really big. Um. The box hero wins are really nice too. Somebody actually tagged me on Instagram and hit the bishop that was signed 9.8. I think it was like double or triple signed. That was a nice book to hit. And I think, oh, uh, Roger Levesque from Three Man in a Basement, his brother hit the FF annual six. Uh, I think it's like a 2.0 or something, but it was signed, I believe, one or two signatures. I think Joe Sinnott might have been on it. So, you know. That, that's kind of what I think it comes down to. It's totally preference. Now, again, torpedo boxes are much more expensive. They're triple the price. The Wonder Woman was $75, but if you use the normal ones, they were $100. You go by that. Um, depends what you want to spend, too. So, you know, I it, it's, it's really preference. I would stay away from DA Card World. That's 100%. Because even the grand prizes, the grand prizes aren't big enough and good enough to compensate for the loss when you miss. Not even freaking close. Not even close. What other ones did we open? Spider Man booth. Uh, I would definitely do boxed heroes over Spider Man booth. Uh, boxed heroes got those things shipped out immediately. Spider Man booth takes a long time. Granted, Spider Man booth probably has a lot more to sell and a lot more. He's probably a lot busier. But uh, I, I would go with the I would go with boxed here. As of right now, my two favorite are boxed heroes, and I like the torpedo. I, I like the torpedo boxes, but you just have to be aware you're gonna get exclusive variants. Just be, just know that. Just know that. Thank you, fallen hero. I appreciate it. Bay Huddleston. Gary, after watching your unboxing the other night, I ended up purchasing the Box Hero Mystery Box, my first mystery box. It'll be here Thursday. Well, good luck, man. I hope you do well. I do. I hope you hit. I believe Boxed Hero ships to Canada, but it is a, it's, it's a little pricier. What are your feelings on mystery boxes overall? Are you more of a fan of direct sales or specific book size? Well, it really, what, what do you want to do? So... I don't mind the mystery boxes, man. I've kind of uh, drank the Kool-Aid. I don't mind the mystery boxes, but I want my mystery boxes completely transparent. And what I mean is I want to know how many there are. I want to know the grand prizes. I want to know my odds. I want to know if I lose, what am I going to lose? What am I gonna, How am I going to lose? So with box Heroes, if you really lose, what are you losing? You, we, we did really well, right? I mean, we hit some uh, minor keys. First, Cletus Cassidy. First, Mr. Sinister. That's pretty good. If that's losing... I don't mind losing like that. Uh, torpedo, when you lose, you're going to get some exclusive variants. If that's what you want, then losing is not that bad. Uh, Spider-Man booth, we lost twice, and we, we lost. Those were big losses. But they were also only $30 boxes. So, hey, if you're on Instagram playing raffles and you drop 30 bucks and you walk away with nothing when you lose, at least you got something out of the Spider-Man booth. DA Card World, whew, 
when you lose, you lose bad, man. Those things were like $125. And I walked away with books that were maybe 10 bucks. They weren't even nine, eight slabs. Yeah, they were slabs. They weren't even nine, eights. One wasn't even a key, just a nothing nine, two, nine, four. So what else did we open? Boxed heroes. We, what do we do? Boxed heroes, DA card world, Spider-Man booth, torpedo. Did we do another one? I should start keeping the boxes and keeping track. So it's really what you preference, right? And of course, price has a lot to do with it too. Gary, what's the longest you ever waited for CGC submission past the CGC turnaround time? Oh man, I honestly don't know. I, I don't know how long. I'm very impatient too, and I don't even remember. I have no clue. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, that too. So for those of you who haven't purchased torpedo mystery boxes, you will get one or two trade hard covers in your box. That you do too. So you get a trade or a hard cover. So it really depends how much you want to how much you want to spend and are you willing to take the risk. If you're okay with losing with torpedo, you're going to get exclusive variants. And if you're okay with that, it's fine. You mentioned eBay. There are some good sales on there. I got a 9.8 CGC signature series. Spawned my time in front for 150 bucks. I think that's pretty good. That's probably fair. BX Boxer. I'm a firm believer you should do a mystery box. Eh, we'll see. Oh, speaking of stuff I'm doing, I will, and I wanted to show you guys this really quick because I want to keep the chat going. It's a good group here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this. I went live last Thursday because the tor what boxes came last Thursday? Were those the box hero ones? Uh, came Thursday, and these just came today. That's why I'm live now. That's this is why I tell you guys hit the notification bell so you know this stuff because it just happens. Um, I wanted to show you guys some more of those Ryan Brown prints that I'm going to be working with him on something soon. Uh, Ryan, if you watch some of the older shows I've done, some of the live shows, Ryan's the artist who comes on with me usually when we're doing live shows together. He does a sketch and we give it away by the end of the show. These are some of his. I'm going to get some of these done up in prints. They're going to be special, exclusive prints. Um, just kind of showing you some of these. If you want to get in touch with him, you can email him at zombiepetsrgb, I think, at Gmail. Or uh, the best spot to get him is actually Instagram. It's uh, zombiepets with a Z, P-E-T-Z. That's his Instagram handle if you want to get in touch with him, get some of these prints or get some commissions done. I know uh, Everett from three men in a basement's getting one. So reach out to him, but we might be working on something close with all that stuff. Uh, did you get a, I did not get the superior box Octavio. You missed when I was talking about that. What was your first comic? I have no idea. I have no idea what was my first, what my first comic. Have you tried unknowns mystery box? I haven't. I don't mind trying any mystery box at this point. It's fun. It's fun to go live. It's fun to open it. And then we get to grade it and talk about it. We could bash it or we can commend it. Was the second box good? No, the second box was just your standard one. Let's see. Let me see. Get rid of this guy. See ya. <laughs> Uh, see, and, and that's something too you get in the torpedo boxes. Uh, sometimes you do get signed variants. Da, 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 da. So yeah, I, oh man from Beantown, keep us all posted on how you do with yours. Are you currently reading anything? I, I'm actually going to start reading and I'm, I'm going to have the writer on soon. Um, he's going to be doing an Indiegogo. I'm actually reading an independent. Uh, soon, I'm looking at it right there. Jaded, uh, the guy who wrote it. I know him. I actually bought his collection off of him, his comic book collection. He needed the money to fund his book. He, it's a long story, and I am going to have him on here. His name is John. As he's he's working on a second book right now, so it's a trade. It was five books. He's got the trade out now. He gave me the trade. I'm going to read it. That's what I'm reading. But I'm going to have him on when he gets, starts the ball rolling on his next project because it's probably going to be like a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo. And uh, that's what I'm reading right now. I just finished Annihilation. And I think I think after I'm probably going to go read God of Thunder again because I read it the first time. I thought it was awesome. I want to read it again. And then I'll probably roll into the Jason Aaron Thor and then into the Donnie Cates Thor because I have the full run because I read Thor. So... 
We'll see. Oh, here you go. Justin, so three men in a basement have four box hero boxes on Boxing Friday night. Here you go. See, now like, that's another good deal. So uh, first, Ezekiel signed twice for 70 bucks, 9.8. I would imagine it's Kirkman on there. So that's a good buy. What's the very top of your personal want list? Well, Peter LaDuca, you're going to segue into my next thing I wanted to talk about. So I wanted to talk about some upcoming videos I have. Um, Thursday's video, I'm not sure. You know what I'm going to do Thursday? Peter LaDuca, you just did it. You just made this happen. Uh, Thursday's video is going to be my top 10 wish list. I already, it's already filmed. It's already done. It's the top 10 books I want for myself. Uh, I also have like my top 10 slabs in my personal collection. I have that video coming. I have magazine key issues from the big collection, which will be the final video from that massive collection. It will be magazine key issues. Uh, and then I have a value tier CGC submission coming back. I think it's like 12 books that we're going to open up. That's going to be a video. Really excited about that one too. Um, what else do I have coming up? I do have another video with my wife, but that's not going to be for a while. And tomorrow is uh, new comic book day. Shops are opening back up tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. So <laughs> Mr. Freeze, actually, I didn't even put that on my list. Did I? I don't even know if I did. Do you ever think comics will drop in value? Yes, I do. And then I think they'll come up. It's a market, right? Up and down, up and down. I have bought, this is Deep Dive Comics. I bought a few mystery boxes from three local comic shops near me. A $50 box valued at $100 is 30 books to get to the $100 value. No keys, et cetera, just a way to dump books. Yeah, see that I disagree with. Unless you're cool with it. Like you gotta be straightforward. You gotta be 100% straightforward. Like, look, this is literally uh, 30 random books from the wall. If you're cool with that, then hey, go for it. Do you ever have a comic you regret letting go that you never saw again? Mm, no, not, not yet. No, nope. DC or Marvel? Actually, we do. Uh, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to leave that a surprise. I'm going to leave that one a surprise. Yeah, my wife did really, really, really well on DC. I was shocked. Shocked. Uh, Chadwick, what do you got here? Gary, we're, we're young. I would, I think that means when you were young, ever, were you ever a, yeah, were you ever a Spawn fan at any point during the series early years or later? No, not really. Not for any other reason other than I just never read it. Who drew your logo? Ryan did. Ryan Brown, the same guy who did those prints. He drew, he did my logo. Is there a more sought after Batman villain book than 121 besides Golden Age? For me personally, probably I should. I, I can't believe I left Freeze off the list. He's like, I definitely left him off the list. Whoops. Yeah, whoops. Uh, is This is a good question. Is CBCS Red Label worth it for something like a Kirby signature? Any Kirby signature is worth it. Yeah, I think so. I do. I do. Is there a comic you sold that you wish you didn't? The one time I did, I sold my first Poison Ivy, but I've gotten it back since then. Still hoarding Micronauts. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I am. I am. I do have them aside. I think Micronauts is going to be a big book. Not a big book. But I do think it's it's going to do better than like a $10 or $20 book. I do. I think it's going to go up. Is the first appearance of... Black Mask, an expensive book. It's probably plummeting right now. It depends on the grade. I think a raw copy should cost you like, before all the hype, I was moving first Black Mask for like $60, $65 in high grade raw, which I feel like is fair. I feel like that's a fair price. I saw them up to like $150 at shows and I was like, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, here you go. Roger Levesque from Three Men in a Basement. Based on viewer feedback, I bought a Funko Mystery Box 
Six pops, all Marvel. If I get them in time, I'll open them Friday. So Friday on Three Men in Basement, they're going to do their boxed hero boxes and possibly the Funko mystery box. Is he called Mr. Frost in the first issue? No, he's not. He's called Mr. Zero in the first issue. I've never found an Avengers number one out in the wild. I've never, ever found that. I can't believe I left Freeze off my list. I think it was a good one. That's going to come out Thursday. My top 10 wants. Uh, I did not watch Birds of Prey yet. I will. I will. What is your favorite thing about comics? Sorry, that's an unoriginal question. I'm I'm a sucker for a good story. I'll read a good story if the art is bad. If the art's good, it just makes it that much better. Comic Forge. This is for Roger. Question for Roger. Oh, whoops. Here you are. Uh, where was the Funko Mystery Box from? Mr. Roger. <laughs> Oh, man. They all just jumped here. Was there something else I wanted to talk about? I don't think there was. Uh, I talked about... Well, now that we may have other people in here, uh, guys, I do. I am right now currently taking want lists on Instagram. As soon as the want lists are filled and done and out of the picture, we're going to move back over to YouTube and do an auction. There will be an upcoming auction. And then when that's done, we'll end up back on Instagram and... Uh, do a live sale. It's been a really long time since we've done a live sale. And I know the guys on Instagram have been like asking about it and somebody did just tonight. So we'll get back on there. What's the one thing you hate that people do at conventions? I hate when they pull all my $2 books out and don't buy them. And then I have to go back and put them all back in. That's the worst. The worst. Are you sending any books into CGC mail and signings? Uh, you know, it's funny, man. I thought about this because now they think they have pa uh, Pamiati and Connor. And I don't have any like Harley stuff or anything. But like, I don't I don't know, man. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about doing some Claremont stuff because I still, I have a lot of bronze X-Men. Bronze, copper X-Men that like keys. I think they're right over there. And um, I thought that would be real cool. But I don't know. I've got a lot. I've, I have over a hundred books at CGC right now, guys. I have 75 pre-screen nine eights. I have 12 coming back. So I guess I don't have a hundred anymore because 12 are coming back this week. I have magazine tier, magazine, modern magazine value tier. I have modern tier, regular modern tier books. I have another 25 books right there that have to go out. Uh, these wonder womans are going to go out in that batch. So it's, there's a lot going on with CGC and I may have CGC news coming up in the next like few weeks, which will be pretty cool for you guys. For me, it'll be, everybody's going to win. Everyone's going to win. Anthony, what other comic price guides do you recommend besides GPA? I always use GPA. I use GPA and eBay sales. Here you go, Roger. You want those Funko things? I think that was it. Big Apple collectibles. There you go. Aquanin. Aqua, oh God, Aquamini Arts. I've got a Captain Britain number one Wolverine one limited series going in for Claremont signing. You should have the Wolverine one signed for uh, signed by uh, Frank Miller. What kind of magazines? Um, what magazines were in that video? The big magazine keys. I don't want to spoil the video. It's it's a good one. Have you found Disney comics out in the wild? Yeah, I found a lot of Disney comics out in the wild, but none of the big boys. None of those. I am sending all the, yeah, I'm, all, I'm sending all the Wonder Woman 750s in for nine eights. This is very frustrating, Mr. Sharkey. Uh, what do you think of eBay sellers who put the wrong description of key books is misleading? Yeah, it is. It's frustrating. Be careful out there, man. People are jerks. People are, do people are jerks. Uh, Gary, will you do a video when the books I'm grabbing come back from CGC? Yes. I don't know what books you're grabbing, but yes. Deep dive comics with a big old super chat. Appreciate another one. Generous dude. Deep dive comics, $15 super chat. Thank you. Last time was for wine. This is for beer or whatever. All right. Next live show. I'll have beer and it's on deep dive, deep dive comics. And, uh, 
you guys should definitely have some too. We'll all be drinking next live show, which I don't even know what it's going to be. I don't, I don't have any mystery boxes coming. Maybe I'll order some box hero ones. They're cheap and they're pretty good. Barbie, you got to watch. See, you got to watch the speculation market. Michael's onto something. Barbie comics are skyrocketing right now. So be on that. Do you think First Black Canary is a good spec book? I think that's just a good book, period. I, DC, it's hard to spec, man. They haven't done it. Basically, you want to spec on comic books? If you haven't seen them show up, go buy that book. <laughs> it's as simple as that. They're probably going to show up at some point, and they're probably going to be in a movie or a TV show. There you go. That's my speculation for you. Some sooner than later. Rich Doherty, I'm sorry. I can't announce anything because I don't know if it's going to happen. So we'll see. Ooh, ooh, I jumped all the way down here. Jeez, where are we? What's the biggest book you found in the wild? Daniel Yabara, you should go back and watch my top 10 books I found in the wild video. I did cover this, but I will say again, my the best book. Oh, God, what is the best book? It's probably the Batman, right? The best book I ever found in the wild was Batman 16. No. No, no, no. I think it was the Fantastic Four number five. It was a Fantastic Four number five. It great. It ended up coming back a 5.5. Benjamin Cross, how do you find the 90-day average on GPA? Is there uh is it there on the site or do you have to calculate it? It's right there on the site. What they do, it works really well. They give you the last sale, they give you the 90-day average, they give you the uh, year average. So like the 2019, the 2018, the 2017, they give you the, the, uh, the highs and the lows, the averages of everything. It's a good, good website. It's a subscription based site. You have to pay for it, but it's a good one. If I want to buy a lot of one to $5 comic books, where's a good place to buy? Probably conventions <laughs> eventually. Oh, 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 okay. Stitch. Yeah. You'll see your books in a video stitch. Don't you worry. Check that out. Tampa Comic Con, July 10th through 12th, is confirmed and not canceled. Let's hope Terrificon happens. That's where the first time, I, the first show I'll do this year will be Terrificon in August. Just got my C2E2 comics today from CGC. Three signed by Claremont, one Crane. Cool that CGC did this in house signing for. I 100% agree, dude, Junior Ryan. Yes, is CGC going to make money on these private signings? Of course they are, absolutely. But to be able to get the opportunity to get your guys to sign the books you want without being there, uh, not without having conventions, I mean, it's a, it's really a win-win. And the good thing is, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to send your books in. You don't have to get them signed. When you say in the wild, does that mean when you're searching through collections you might buy, or does that include comic shops? I do not count comic shops as in the wild. So when... I, don't, I can't speak to, to anyone else, though. Some people might. Uh, when I say in the wild, it means collections. Paul, uh, yeah, we're talking about 70s, 60s and 70s magazines, Paul. That video is probably, I'll probably put that video out sometime next week. Because I'm thinking, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm thinking Thursday's video will be my top 10 want list. And then Monday's video will probably be keep your fingers crossed will probably be the cgc unboxing that hopefully that box gets here this week if i can get that box in hand this week i'll do the video and i'll put that one out monday and then maybe i'll do the magazines uh the end of next week yeah torpedo will probably be launching another mystery box soon they've been doing as one ends another one comes up so i'm sure it'll be soon once because they usually do once all the the uh their mystery boxes get out into the public, circulated, and they're done with them, and they wash their hands of it. They move on to another one. If I want to buy, here you go, Gene. If I want to buy the most affordable slab, which one would you suggest? That's a very broad question, my man. Depends what you want to buy. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, X-Men, Batman, Detective, Aquaman. It all depends. It depends what grade you want. Oh, Miss Miss Fee Mint in the house. Hello, Steph. Hope you guys are having a good evening. Hope the weather's nicer there than it is here. It's a little chilly here. Do you think there's too many spec people in the comic book market and not true fans? Are they just in it for the money? I think a lot of the spec people are in it for the money, and I do think that a lot of them are, are fans. Why would they do it? I, I, why would they do it? They're probably fans. Everybody, think of it this way. Everybody wants to be the first person to break the news. 
right? So are they doing it for the money or are they doing it for the acknowledgement? Just think of it that way. I some prices are starting to come down, but I don't think I don't think it's uh I don't think it's gonna be that bad. What's your Hulk 181 story? I don't know if I have one. I found two of them in the wild. One was an 8.0, one came back an 8.0, one came back an 8.5. I still have the 8.5 for sale. The old GPA interface was awful. The new interface is much better. I actually agree with you. So when GPA changed everything, they were down for a few days. I was really annoyed with the new interface. I, I couldn't stand it. I didn't like the way, it, I didn't like anything about it. And the more I used it, the more I like it. I'm a lot. Can you get deals at cons or is it the same as just going on eBay? Okay, I, this is an opinion. I always feel like you pay a little bit more in the conventions. But with that being said, you're also handling the book. You, the book is in front of you. You can physically touch it, see the condition. You're not guessing off of eBay scans and pictures. So I don't mind paying a little bit of a premium to have that comfort. Like, okay, I know what grade this book is. I'm looking at it with my own eyes. Or I can see this slab isn't scratched. The book looks nice in there. And you know you're not getting... You, you might not get swindled because it's physically in front of you. So I don't mind paying a little bit of a premium for that comfort, that feeling of comfort, knowing exactly what I'm getting. There's always that risk with eBay. There's a million phenomenal sellers out there on eBay, but there's also some bad ones. Sydney, I'm right next to you. I work in Connecticut. It's totally acting stupid. I expect another outbreak. Hey, I'm all about going out there and living your life. Just do it safely. That's all. Do you think the prices for CGC signings are fair or inflated? I actually think they're very fair. I think they're super fair. Uh, and maybe Frank Miller's a little pricey, but he's also pricey at conventions. So I do think it's fair. Man from Beantown, I am all about that optimism. All about that optimism. VX Boxer, you're welcome. Nice 9.2 of Batman 251. I have the same. I love my Batman 251. I love my Batman 251. One of my favorite covers on my top favorite list. That's going to come out maybe in a week or two. I don't know. Oh, geez. I'm way back on this chat. I'm sorry, guys. I kind of wanted to be off by nine o'clock. So uh, this is true too, Andrew. You can always negotiate at conventions. Don't negotiate with me. Just pay my sticker price, but. You could, you could always negotiate with conventions. And you know what's nice too about the conventions is you can bring stuff to trade. So you can make deals at the conventions. You could say, hey, look, do you need one of these? You can knock a few bucks off. I've seen a lot of deals go down where guys trade books and cash for books they want. It's, uh, you know, you're negotiating. Eroth. All over. I can't believe you don't count LCSs in the wild. I do. Whether it is hot here or hoot, there's just there's owls everywhere down in Texas, uh, here in the desert. Desert owls. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I know. I don't count. I don't count stores in the wild unless you get it at like a stupid price. Then it's like ah, I found something. Here you go. Ellie is given is given. Uh, <laughs> Ellie's giving big keys out for good deals here. You should get a young blood number one. You can get a 9.8 for $10 on that guy. I forgot who it was asked <laughs> affordable key. Uh, where can we buy Gary swag stickers and t-shirts? Well, stickers, when you order books, I usually just put a sticker in there. T-shirts, I have them on order. They're not in hand yet. As soon as I get them in, in hand, I'll let you guys know and I'll, I'll find a way to get them to you. Instead of just emailing me or PayPal me, we'll, we'll figure something out. I promise. X Men 94 or 101 for Claremont to sign. X Men 94 or X Men 101 for Claremont to sign. If I had to pick one, is he even on 101? Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would do 101. I just love the cover. The 94 cover is like, ugh. Flat brims, you're crazy late. You have to go back and watch on the rewind. Sam Wise, how do you value comics you are buying off eBay with the shipping included? It's hard to pull the trigger on well-priced books with $30 shipping for myself. $30 shipping is a lot. I would imagine you're in Canada if that's the case. I don't know. I, I don't play around on eBay enough. I just happened to mess around because I was bored and I picked up a few things I wanted. 
there i'm a, i'm i don't know i estimate the grade and i say okay if i have to pay cgc costs and it comes back at this grade do i come out ahead if so you know then you make you pull the trigger on it Man from Beantown, I bought a Batman 181 at C2E2. I didn't know you got out, went out to Chicago for that. I didn't know you went out there for that show. I bought a Batman 181 at C2E2 this year, and after talking the guy down, I got him to bet a coin flip on whether or not he would knock it down another $80, and I won. And and I would imagine the vendor held you to that, held himself to that, and uh, did the right thing. Look at Fee just hanging out, socializing in the group chat. Ooh, we already covered this. Fee still just waving at everybody, socializing. I should just have her on the show. <laughs> uh, are you still planning a video on your grading process? Rich, you just stick around for uh, announcements in the near future. We're gonna, probably going to get into that later. Uh, back just finished chilling outside. So you just sit there answering questions. You should have a counter in the corner for each question you field with a ding, each one you finish. Yeah, this is honestly, I like the unboxings, but this is my favorite part because I like talking with all you guys. This is the best. This is this is what I'm missing from not being at conventions. This right here, what we're doing. Because yeah, it's selling books at conventions is great. Putting money in your pocket is awesome. But I could do all that like on eBay. I could do that on Instagram. I could do an auction here. The socializing at the conventions is the best part. And being able to do it here, it's still a lot of fun. It's not the same but it's still a lot of fun. Wobble is 100% right. He's Frank Miller's expensive. His signing is expensive. I'm only going to do this for like a few more minutes, man. A few more minutes. Uh, boy, I am way back, way back. Way back. Sorry. I'm going to I'm just going to skip all the way down to the bottom cuz I do want to hit up some There you go. Sharky played rock paper scissors. Here's Fee saying, saying good night. So saw you were on. Wanted to pop in and say hi. Tell the family we say hi. Hello. Have a good evening. Next time I'll come and hang out with you guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll let my wife know you said hi. Thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate it. Showing the love. Sandwichism. Stitch. I plan on coming to a convention on the East Coast. Hopefully, get to meet you in person at a con eventually. Yeah, man. Let's hope so. Like, I'm, I'm still. My fingers are crossed. I'm staying optimistic for terrific con. Jeez. Uh, I think New York is definitely out of the picture. New York Comic Con. I have my booth. I'm ready to go if it does happen. But I'm gonna say this is not gonna. New York is not gonna happen for some reason. I think terrific con. There's better chance terrific con is gonna happen. Will it? Fingers crossed. I'm gonna stay optimistic. Only a couple more, a couple more, a couple more. Let's see. Have you been to the capital region for some comic content? No, just the only reason I haven't been up there is because I haven't had an opportunity to, I haven't gotten a call. That's all. No other reason. I'll travel far for a collection. I don't mind. Plus it'll make a real cool video. Imagine like a cool vlog video traveling. Like I'm in New York. Imagine traveling to like Ohio or something to buy a collection. That would be a great video. I'd love to do that. When conventions start again, any plans coming to Canada throws Canadians a bone. Uh, if I go to Canada for a show, it won't be to sell. It'll probably be the Toronto show, I think, is really good. I've heard great things about that show. I don't remember the name of it, but I think it's the Toronto one. How many bandana things do you have, and do you have any with comic designs? Somebody, My uncle said I should put my logo on these things. Uh, no, I don't have any comic ones. Mm. yeah there's gonna be a lot of this a lot of this is gonna be happening fan expo yeah that's the one fan expo canada i think that's the toronto show i've heard it's really good but guys i'm gonna get out of here again we did open those mystery boxes i hit one of the grand prizes real excited about that forever people number one in a 9.6 first dark side i wanted to thank you guys so much for hanging out appreciate the super chats like thank you so much for that uh there are some more live shows coming up Right after this, I think there's some people going live. Thursday, just keep an eye out. Thursday's video is going to be my top 10 want list. And no, Mr. Freeze is... Did I put Freeze on there? I feel like I should have. I don't know. Regardless, everyone, thank you guys so much. And remember to keep it comics.